So there's been a couple of shootings recently that have been captured on CCTV and this first one I was actually quite shocked to find out about because believe it or not even though someone has been left with life changing injuries there was no initial coverage about this shooting and this to me is quite alarming because you have to think to yourself if it wasn't for this appeal from police then would we ever have found out about this situation maybe once the situation got wrapped up in court but again it is alarming to think that there was no initial coverage about it but again in an appeal today the police are asking for people's help for any information surrounding this incident At around 12.35am on the 24th of August 2021, so a couple weeks ago now, police were called by the London Ambulance Service to Cairnfield Avenue in Halsden. When they arrived, they found a 21-year-old man who was left with life-changing injuries after sustaining gunshot injuries to his back, hand and hip. The police in a statement claim that the victim had been speaking to a friend in the street when the suspect approached on a moped. CCTV footage captured the suspect driving into the road from Neesden Lane and circling around before pulling to a stop a few metres away and switching off his lights. The two men then turn to look at the suspect but are unconcerned and then out of nowhere he produces a firearm and shoots the pair. The victim who was hit dives behind a car to take cover while his his friend scrambled desperately to run away. On a quick side note, that friend escaped with no injuries. The rider fires a number of shots before calmly driving away back in the direction of Neesden Lane. Emergency services arrived at the scene fairly quickly, but despite an extensive search, the suspect wasn't located and still today hasn't been identified. He's been described as wearing a dark helmet and dark clothing. I know it isn't really much to go off in all honesty. Detective Constable Oliver Cotist of the Met's Specialist Crime Unit would go on to say, I would urge anyone who lives in the area to check doorbell and dashcam footage to see if they might have captured this person in the area. But for sheer luck, we could have had two people shot dead in the street. This could have been a double murder investigation. The suspect is a dangerous offender who has access to a firearm and we have seen that they are prepared to use it. It is vital that we catch them. Police and communities must work together to apprehend violent criminals who cause bloodshed and misery on our streets. Of course, again, the suspect hasn't been identified, but if he does and there is any updates coming out of this situation, as always, I'm going to keep you guys posted on this one. But moving on to our next story, and if you guys follow me over on my Instagram, then you would have seen this one over the past couple of days. And if you guys haven't, give this one a watch. Now this one hasn't been released by police like the previous story and the CCTV footage that you've just seen was actually put up onto social media and then the mainstream media got their hands on it and have since been reposting it. Either way, it's being reported that two men, one aged in their 20s, the other in his 30s, received gunshot injuries to their hands and legs. 
Police had been called to the Royal Liverpool University Hospital after both men presented themselves with their gunshot injuries at around 12.50am on the 8th of September 2021. Their injuries have been described as severe but non-life-threatening. A crime scene was set up in the Kirkdale area from Fountains Road to Crocus Road on Stanley Road and along a section of Pansy Street with Stanley Road being at the place of the shooting itself. Police are now appealing for information surrounding the incident though because both victims are refusing to cooperate with the police. Detective Inspector John Fitzgerald from the Merseyside Firearms Investigation Team said, We're working to piece together exactly what happened and so are keen to speak to anyone who was in the vicinity of Stanley Road and Pansy Street at around midnight and saw or heard anything, either the shooting itself or any people making away from the area and vehicle details. Recent days have seen a number of firearms removed from the streets and in recent months a turn down in these types of incidents. So the police do believe that this is a gang related incident and you can see why from the nature of the shooting and on top of that the victims not cooperating with the Merseyside police so it does point in that direction. Thankfully though no one was killed in this incident because like you can see from the CCTV it was up close and personal. To be honest I'm surprised that no one was. I'm thankful that no one was but I am very surprised to say the least. If I do get any updates coming out of this situation as always I'm going to keep you guys posted on this one. But give the video a like for more crime related content like this and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me Ape Honcho and I'll see you in the next next one.